Hello, decided to take an early morning walk today. Feeling super anxious, couldn't sleep in like I would normally do considering it's a Saturday. But uh, today I have two big things going on. There is Pokemon Go Fest going on, which isn't really what this video is gonna be focusing on, but um, I also have a package that I've been waiting for, for since I think it was Monday is when I ordered it. And I didn't exactly expect it to come this fast. It was supposed to actually come on Monday, but it got pushed up to today. So just very anxious and just taking a walk until I figure out what I'm doing. Too early to do anything with Pokemon Go Fest yet, but I wanted to get my legs stretched out first, I guess. Should probably spin this stop, so I'm gonna stop the video here. Well, I'm making breakfast right now. It's a bit loud, that bacon sizzles quite loudly. But uh, making essentially a little bacon egg and cheese sandwich. The egg's cooking in there to make the bread. Uh, bacon's still cooking there. And I got the first piece of egg all done with the cheese on it over here. Um, basically, I use the egg in place of bread and it happens to make it basically an egg, bacon, and cheese sandwich. It tastes really freaking good. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be my breakfast for today. Not sure why I'm recording this, because this has nothing to do with the rest of the video, but I just thought this was kinda cool. And I always season my egg, so you see all that stuff that's in the egg. There's some paprika, pepper seasonings, uh, salt, and a little bit of Italian seasoning all mixed into that. It ends up coming out really good. All right, uh, this was a diversion. Forgot to oil the second egg, so it didn't exactly come out very smoothly on the second egg, but the sandwich itself came out pretty good and I even already took a bite out of it so you can see the cross section. Steam's still coming off of it though, so it's hard to hold. So I just kind of got the news that the package got delayed, so I guess I'm focusing on Pokemon Go. Gonna be doing that pretty much all day. Um, so yeah, I guess this video is gonna get split into another day if I decide to upload this all as one video. We'll see what happens, but um... So I'm going to play some Pokemon Go. Probably won't be seeing much more of me than today because that was not the point of the video that I'm trying to record these clips for. So a few lessons have been learned today. Uh, don't get overexcited about things because you're likely to get disappointed. It's happened twice today. Uh, starts with FedEx telling me that the package is on the delivery truck and then saying, oh, it's not going to get delivered until Monday, two days from now. Then Pokemon Go Fest breaks pretty much. There's no point in me playing it if I can't do anything. They start with raids and you can't get raid invites and you're not supposed to go anywhere. So the only way to really get it is to find somebody who happens to be in an area where the raids happen and get an invite from them. And you can't get the invite. So I didn't even participate in a single raid during raid hour. Then the friend hour happens and the friends list breaks. So you can't send gifts to friends. So defeating the purpose of the mission yet again. I don't even know how the missions got completed considering the game wasn't working. But that point aside, uh, pretty much given up on GoFest. I'm just playing from home at this point because I don't feel like there's any point in trying to put any extra effort into it. And uh, good thing I actually didn't go anywhere. I thought with the package not showing up, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. But then I hear my doorbell go off and there's a box. Yeah, FedEx lied. The package did show up today. So I'm glad I stayed here since I needed to sign for it. Um, I'm gonna open that up in just a minute and you'll get to see what's inside. Well, I got my knife, but not overkill, I promise. Got the box, gonna open it up. Unfortunately, the box doesn't really show up on camera, but I think the angle is gonna be more appropriate where it is now. So we're gonna see what happens here and being very careful. Hopefully I don't cut myself. I'm having trouble cutting. <laughs> just get a slice into the tape here. And then the this. So I cut this piece of tape here too, apparently. This is what we're looking at here. 
This is what I've been looking forward to. I have not seen one of these in person ever. This will be my first time, and I think this looks really good. Gotta try it on, but there's a little bit more in there, and I feel like I gotta mess with that first. So, give me just a second to fix up this look. And, got this in here too. Oh, I think this just goes on a felt hoop, I'm guessing. And that gives a tail as well. So, yeah, I'm gonna look a little wolfish in a second. I'm gonna try it right on. because that's not going to work. Post-production Arate here to inform you that this mask is made by Magpie Bones. Uh, she makes masks of this nature um, and this was one of her prototypes for testing a soft-sided mask and I decided to buy this one because I thought it was a perfect fit for me and I'm very very happy with it of course. And there we go. Is the jaw lined up? So, and we'll try this one too. Gotta try on the whole thing. Gotta try the whole thing if I'm gonna try it. Now, this isn't how I would wear it in general, but I already know that. I just wanna try it on immediately because that was my biggest goal here. Just put this on, see what it looks like, and I will go from there on the rest of it. So. Oh. And sometime later. All right, got the whole thing on now. I have no clue what this looks like still. I haven't tried it looking in a mirror or anything. Um, gonna check that quick actually. I think I got everything on right actually on the first try. So that worked out really good. And it looks great. I love the way this looks. This is not what it's gonna look like though. This is still not showing what I plan on doing with this in total. Not sure if I'm gonna do a full look today or not, but I definitely have some plans for this. I wanna to go to Renaissance fairs. I usually invest in Renaissance fair garb for those, and I feel like I can make this work really well with that. So, yeah, no, it looks great. I love the way it looks. I don't know how the back looks. I don't have a mirror. Hold on, camera. I'll check the camera when I'm done. Tail gives some good movement from the field of things, although I can't really see it, and I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera. Put my knife on the table. All right, I think that's good enough for showing off what it's got going here. And it's getting a little hot because I turned off the air conditioner so that you don't hear it coming through on uh, the camera, which I'm guessing that my voice isn't coming through that great anyways right now. So we're gonna see what, that hap what happens with that. All right, so my first attempt to record this didn't exactly come out the way that I'd want it to. Still trying to get this lined up quite right. But it looks great. Um, you couldn't really see the head that well or the tail or any of it because I apparently managed to get just this in the pictures, which isn't very impressive. So, but you can get jaw movement with it. Hard to get while talking but it does work. Um, and I was able to do this and it fits pretty well, actually. Actually looks good, so who knows? Maybe I will be wearing glasses with this. I didn't actually expect to be doing so, but. Um, and then better angle of the tail. Uh, I gotta keep the cameras upright. I, I don't know how I'm doing this. Uh, Fortunately, and I'm the only person here right now, so I don't have somebody else to hold the camera for me, figure out where it can go. So it looks great though, and a little bit of bedhead going on, but other than that, uh, yeah, no, this is absolutely amazing looking. So I'm looking forward to getting good chances to wear this. Um, I might still try to do the full look. Um, I'd like to see at least what it's going to look like with the eyeshadow on because definitely looks a little bit weird with the white eyes at the moment. So I'm going to probably at least try that out. All right. So this probably doesn't look all that different, but I think it puts the look together. A uh, little hard to tell, but there is eyeshadow on. I might need to do it a little bit darker in the future. 
and I can still do this and it still looks pretty darn good but my hands have been gloved they've been painted black but that's already worn off I gotta find a better solution for that and they don't stay on the best they don't stay on the best even when I don't have this on to be fair so that's not a fault of the mask that's a fault of my glasses I already knew that the mask might not do that uh, jaws have not quite lined up am I there we go and just do a full picture all the way down. And the tail is still on. I still can't get a good picture of that, but there we go. That's what it should look like in the long run. And I can still use my glasses if I need to, which is nice to know. I don't know why, but suddenly it looks silly to me. <laughs> oh, one last thing that has to be done before I'm done here. Ah! I'm going to round this up with a little bit more post commentary while I showed up a little bit of video where I wasn't really talking or anything and just kind of checking things out. Uh, again, the mask was made by Magpie Bones. I'm going to leave links to some of her social medias in the description in case you want to check her out. Um, it looks so much better, honestly, to me after seeing the videos and the pictures because when you're wearing it, it's very hard to tell what it looks like. Um, it came out absolutely amazing. Um, and I definitely think this is going to work very well for the Renaissance Fairs and that kind of thing. I still got to figure out some of the details, some of the kinks and stuff like that. Obviously, this was my first time wearing it, and I only wore it for like half an hour. So it wasn't a very long time that I had done any experimentation with it and stuff. And to be fair, I was also waiting for some supplies and stuff to uh, show up that hadn't come in that I actually planned to use with the outfit as well. Namely, I was looking for some nail polish and that had not come in yet. Um, that being said, I actually have plans to make a short little video clip with this that's going to be more of a dramatized thing. Um, I've got the whole thing thought out, but I don't know what's going to happen with it. Hopefully I can get somebody to help me with the camera controls and stuff like that. Uh, a couple of stills coming up. And if you're looking for the Minecraft content, it will be back. I just, this kind of took over for a week here. So if you do like this too, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do more stuff like this in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good afternoon.